Your artist is having 1,000 followers on Instagram. He drops a content, no comment, no engagement. And you say you are an artist manager. It is your responsibility to make sure that that artist has a fan base. So, okay guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the place where we talk about the music, the music industry, and the music business. So, um, recently I've been seeing um, some artist manager asking me to talk about how to become an, a better artist manager or how to start by how to start being an artist manager. I've got it for like 10 people, so I believe that since this channel is about the music business, then it's important that I treat this particular topic because there are so many people that really want to go into the music business. Even some artists that are singing right now, in the next five years, they might end up finding themselves as an artist manager because personally, I started by singing. I started singing around um, 2009, then I stopped my music career 2014 and focused on talent management. So that is how I switched. But even, even when I was still singing, I still managed myself, I promote myself, you know, I had to do a lot of things myself. So today, I'm going to talk about how to become an artist manager in the music business. Let's dive in. Welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Prince Tupilos. I'm a talent manager, I'm a promoter, I'm a social media strategist. Of course, I call myself the music business guru because uh, this is what I do. <laughs> yeah, so I want to talk about how to become a better artist manager or how to become an artist manager. But before that, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell button so you don't miss all the amazing videos like this. Because what we do here is reveal to you the deepest secret of the music industry and of course the music business so that you'll be guided while you are on the way. Trust me, no one in Africa is actually doing this except maybe someone is doing it but I don't know the person but trust me, this place I say everything the way they are. So if you want to become an artist manager, well, the first thing that you need to search, or search from within you is the passion the passion. Now, you need to be passionate about this thing. And you need to understand that being an artist manager is a selfless job. If you are someone that you are selfish, you can't be an artist manager. Because while the artist is sleeping, you are actually thinking of how to make that artist's life better, not your life better. So you are putting the artist first and day in day out you are living for the artist so if you know that you are not willing or you are not ready to live for someone then being an artist manager is not your business it's not your job it's a talent as well it's a zeal it's a passion for example i became an artist manager in 2014 i started managing an artist because all the while all my life i just believe that okay let me just say my life i i love I love seeing people grow. That's the kind of person I am. So when someone around me is growing, it's my own joy that that person is growing. So because of that joy in me for other people's success, that is why I can become an artist manager. Some people want to become an artist manager. In their mind, they think they will, they will end up being famous. Now, being famous should not be your goal as an artist manager. But your artist being famous should be your goal. Some people say they are, they are, some artists say they are managing an artist and they are singing too. If you want to be an artist manager, you can't be an artist manager and be a musician at the same time. That was why I had to drop music. So all my experience that I've gathered while doing music, I pitch this experience to my artists so they can be a better artist out there. Do you understand? So, for example, let me give you a good example of a good manager. I'll give you two examples right now. I'm not saying anyone is bad because Everyone in this life have their end goals. Don Jazzy is an artist manager. He's more than an artist manager actually. He's a record label owner. But let me say okay, he's more in a position of a manager. You understand? Now, this is it. If you notice in his career, he doesn't have a song that is, is done by, by himself. That this song was sung by Don Jazzy. But instead of that, 
he lived for his artist. So, like an artist manager, you are like a Jesus that come to save the artist, the artist career from crashing. And you are like the CEO of a company. The artist is a company. Now, the company needs a manager or a CEO. So, you are employed to make sure that this company go forward. So, you are employed to make sure that this artist did not, the career of this artist did not crash. So day in day out, you need to be strategizing. Okay, how can I move this artist forward? How can I do this? How can I? Now, for in order for you to be a success, successful manager, in order for you to be a successful manager, you need to have some basic skill of the music industry, or the skills that will make your artist go further. Now, let me give myself an example. When when I said I want to start being an artist manager, the first thing I did was to go and learn about the music business. Yes. I went off the industry for like a year just to go and learn about the music business. So in the process of learning about the music business, I became a cinematographer, I became a film editor, um, uh, a social media strategist, a promoter, and so many things. Because why? My artist is going to need all these services. So as the manager, I need to understand how these things work. If I don't understand how these things work, trust me, I'm going to be leading my artist astray. If I employ anyone to work for my artist, I need to understand what that person is about to do for my artist. If I employ a cinematographer to come and shoot an interview for my artist, for example, I know that this camera setting has to be like this. This camera has to be framed like this. This light setting has to be like this. This has to be like this. I understand the business. And if, as an artist manager, you also need to learn how to promote basic promotion on social media and so many places because why your artists will always need it and if you want to be employing someone every time to work for your artist your artist is going to be spending so much money and the artist might give up on his career you only make money when your artists make money and you need to make sure your artist is making money as, as well if your artist is not making money as an art as a manager you are a failure you are a failure you need to understand the basic skill, learn some skills, promoting skills. Your, your artist social media cannot be struggling and you say you are an artist manager. Hello, what are you managing? Your artist is having 1,000 followers on Instagram. He dropped a content, no comment, no engagement. And you say you are an artist manager. It is your responsibility to make sure that that artist has a fan base. That's why when I'm managing my artist, the first thing I do is that I make sure that my artists have a very, very good fan base. That's the first thing I focus on. Then, as a manager, you need to build connections. Because the reason why you're a manager is because you're supposed to reach out to people in the industry and say, okay, this person is the best plug for this promotion, for this, for that, for that, for that. You need to understand, you need to have connections. So, as a manager, is in daily basis, you need to be networking. Networking. Try to get to know people, try to meet people, and all that. How many minutes is that? Eight. Okay, good. So you need to always meet people, talk to people, go to events, meet artist man fellow artist managers, meet PRs, meet um, promoters, meet record label owners, meet investors, meet sponsors. On daily basis, you are supposed to be sending email to people to know that okay, who is this person that can help my artist go forward every time. So being an artist manager comes with a huge, huge responsibility, and of course, you need to be psychological. Yes, because you are dealing with a human being in a career. You need to understand your artist's mood and so many things. So, about being psychological, I think I'm going to pause this particular place. I'll talk about it in the next episode because this is going to be an episode. This is just the first episode on being an artist manager. So, I'm going to release it by episode by episode so that you understand how to actually be a good artist manager. And of course, artists, you can tell your manager to come and watch this video because they need to watch it because if you tell your manager to come and watch this video when they are watching this video they will know how to manage your career better so it is very very important so i'm going to stop here for today so in the next video i'll be talking about the next thing you need to do as a manager how to equip yourself as a manager so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell button so you don't miss other amazing videos like this thank you for watching